All right, Pisces. We are gonna do a singles reading. I wanna see what's coming in for single Pisces. Okay, so being really abundant, really confident, really single, being really grounded. Okay, let's see what else is coming in. Yeah, you could be setting a lot of boundaries right now as well. There could be an energy here where you're communicating your boundaries or you're learning what you need to learn to set boundaries. How are other people viewing you right now? Someone who's maybe discontent, someone who's a little disappointed, someone who, yeah. So a lot of people are seeing you as someone who's walking away because you're tired of being discontent. You're tired of saying, you know what, I'm not getting what I want here, but I'll just keep investing. No, if that's who you've been here recently, Pisces, investing in things, people, places, things, just because you had FOMO, you feared of missing out of what could be, what might be, what should be, you're not doing that anymore. If something's not making you happy, you're dipping out. You're saying, I'm out, I've, I've gotta go. Because they see you as someone who's a hard worker, someone who's dedicated, someone who puts in the effort, the time, the attention. Something here about trust as well. So there could have been a cup that you gave in the past in your lifetime that could have really made you, there could be five. So there could be five failed relationships, friends, lovers, family. There could be five dynamics in your life. It doesn't have to be, but it could be that really sunk that made you go, I don't know if I can trust anyone. That's gonna be for some of you. A lot of people are viewing you as someone who's really grounded and balanced though. Someone who's getting clarity on their happiness and someone who's not scared to go in that direction. What are you leaving behind? Lack of growth. Anything that was not growing, you're leaving behind. We've got bugs over here too. What the heck? I don't know how I got a bug. Anything that kept you confused, anything that fed you a sense of an illusion, you're leaving it behind. You're attracting someone to you who's very grounded, someone who's wanting a new beginning. You could also be attracting the clarity that you need to go towards a new beginning very quickly. You could be really harnessing your intuition and allowing it to work for you. Give me more for what you're leaving behind. Yeah, I'm telling you, there is something here where you could be recognizing that someone was not who they seemed to be. Someone could have been a liar, a cheater, a thief. There's lack of growth here. This person could be really good at being a free spirit. This person could be a little bit of a loner. You and this person could have matched, but you could have also not matched. It's like the parts that you needed to match this person to make a dynamic and a relationship work is not the parts that you guys matched on. Whoever you were attached to could be a good provider for their self, but they could be loyal to their money, their finances, their job. So this could be the lover that will work every single day, 12 to 16 hour days, they they don't care if they see you. And it isn't because they don't like you or care for you, but it's because that's their priority. And you could have recognized that there was lack of growth here. You could have also recognized that someone isn't who they seem to be. And maybe they're not necessarily lying to you, but they're not really being forthcoming for you to be able to make an educated decision. Yeah, it's someone who's practical and it's someone who's logical. And what they're telling me is that whoever you're leaving behind is eventually going to be sad and disappointed over this. They're going to recognize what they're missing out on because there's a new beginning here that they're going to have to grieve. Because maybe this person wanted to put the effort and the time into some sense of new beginning. But maybe there was something here where there was a burden, some energy. It could have been family. It could have been friends. There could have been some sort of burden attached to them. So they could have had others' expectations on them. 
and then it could have kept you guys from being able to grow something. Now you're allowing yourself to leave it behind. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus. Doesn't have to be. It could just be someone who approaches life, approaches life in a practical and logical standpoint. And this person could have a very free spirit. This person could have liked flirting with you, talking to you, having fun with you, going out with you, but their loyalty lied in something else. And the wheel here is turning, which is telling me that around the 10th month or in 10 weeks from now, this person's going to have some sense of heartbreak and disappointment. This could have been someone who was wanting to get back with you or wanting to come back around in the future, and they're not going to be able to is what they're, what they're, I think they're going to acknowledge they could also be recognizing the burdens that's kept them from being able to be with you. Give me more. What does Pisces singles need to know? Yeah, whoever this is, this person didn't want to hurt you. Your soul remembers this person. There's an intense connection here that could have resulted in you healing old wounds, childhood wounds, issues that have been brought up in your life that needed to be healed. And now you could be recognizing that there's not growth here, that this person served their purpose. And the purpose was for you to heal, for you to understand where growth was, for you to acknowledge. You know, someone can tell you who they are, but do they show you that version of them? Because I can tell you that I'm a good cook, but do I cook sometimes? Like, that's kind of the energy I'm getting here is that this person could have told you who they were, but by their action, you recognize that there was lack of growth. And that could have then brought something out of you that needed to be healed. But this was an intense connection you couldn't ignore. Retreat alone. So they're wanting you to spend time alone in nature or by yourself. There could be an energy here where this person is also in that, that state where they're spending time by their self to gain some sort of wisdom. Yeah, you're going to get an apology from this person. Maybe an apology for being on different pages in some sense, form, or fashion. Okay. So, how are potential suitors viewing you? How are potential suitors viewing you? How are potential suitors viewing you? So, they could view you as someone that they want to get to know on a deeper level, but you could be in a place where you don't want to let people get close to you. You want something balanced. You want something that can be healing. So, potential suitors see you as someone who maybe will talk to them. But you're kind of blindfolded when it comes to anything more than that. Yeah, they see you as someone who's maybe stuck on some sense of collaboration. Or maybe you have changed your perspective on what kind of collaboration you want because you have healed. Because you are so confident, abundant, independent. Because you know who you are and what you have to offer. Confidence is oozing off of you right now. And if you don't want to do something, you're not going to. If you don't see potential, you don't care. There could also be, again, an energy here of you still trying to get over some sense of disappointment because of an ending. Recognizing there's not growth here. And if you thought that there was once growth there, you could be needing to grieve what you thought something was. Seeing it in a different perspective. But other people could be seeing you as someone who's a little stuck and not really ready for everything that someone can offer you. But people are seeing you as someone who's very attractive, very confident, very abundant, very independent, very magnetic. And people are seeing you as someone that they can grow with, someone who is You're one of a kind. I'm hearing the song from Miss Congeniality. You're one in a million is the song that I keep hear I keep hearing it play. So a lot of people could be viewing you as someone who's like one in a million, but a lot of people could be juggling whether or not you're going to let them in. Is it worth wasting my time and my energy because Pisces is guarded as hell? Should I even try it? 
a lot of people won't approach you if they don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people are scared of rejection. People have a tendency to want to approach someone when they know that it's going to work out in their favor. So a lot of people could be wanting to approach you, but they're not because they're unsure what you're going to say. Are you going to say yes? Or are you going to say no? Are you going to tell me to fuck off? Or are you going to tell me cold day in hell? What are you going to tell me? So what are you going towards? Listening to your intuition when it comes to a new beginning. You're going to something that's going to be fair. Something that's going to be just. You could be getting an apology in the future and that's going to be fair. An apology from something that was burdensome. It could be something here to do with petty arguments, gossip, conflict, jealousy. Something here to do with new emotional experiences. So you could be getting an apology from someone. You could also be starting something new with someone and determining whether or not it's fair. Wanting to take it slow. Having the strength and the courage to explore it but not allowing yourself to get consumed by it where it can unground you. Taming yourself. There could also be a conversation coming in where someone's going to offer you something after an ending. And you're going to have the strength and the courage to see through it and determine whether or not this is something you want to accept. It could be truth. That's not been spoken. I'm hearing the song. I got the power. So the power is then going to be in your hands. Whether or not you want to deal with this person or not. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Oh wow. So some of you have got someone coming in. Where it's going to be stability in a union. Some of you have got someone coming in wanting to offer you everything. New emotional experiences, a union, some sense of stability, marriage, legacy, finances. You could start it off very small after ending something. There could be a little discontentment coming from you because you could be unsure what you're wanting. Recognizing you have the power in your hands. What you want, you can have. If this is someone new, I feel like they're recommending taking it slow. This could be a past person. Let's see. Is this a new person or a past person? Is this a new person or a past person? Nine of Swords. Feeling a little anxious. Feeling a little worried. There is something here about being anxious of the unknown. Is this going to work out? Is this the one? Is this safe? Should I give in to this? Some of you are scared of giving up your independence. Some of you are so abundant and so confident, you're scared of what the next season of your life looks like. And something could be changing around the ninth month. Getting the choice, do you want to do this? Do you want to have this? You can have it. I think this offer is gonna come out of nowhere. I think it's everything you've wanted. But I think there's an intimidation factor of, but this could this could go to hell. Could be, again, a Taurus. It's someone who thinks really highly of you. It's something that you've waited on, but the wait is over. The wait is over. But that's the thing. You're going to be burdened because this is a new beginning. This is a new offer. This is new. You're getting the opportunity to build something new. After going through healing... And you could need to take time alone to decide if you want to accept this offer. Because it's something you've waited on. But it could be something that if you're not careful, you might try to talk yourself out of it. Because you could still be disappointed or sad. Yeah, emotional fulfillment. Because a lot of you has ended something that you thought was your happiness. And maybe there's something here where you're needing to recognize that you didn't let go of your happiness. You let go of something that could have never matched up to what you're wanting. You let go of something that was triggering wounds and issues that you had in deep. And you needed to heal those so you could see that growth was not possible. What was the lesson for the other person that you're leaving behind? The will of fortune. That things turn. That success and victory is possible, but you have to take your opportunity when you have it. 
The other person's last thing was about timing. Yeah. And that maybe they they were a wounded warrior and they had to be willing to fight for this. This person could have been really stuck. They could have thought time was going to work in their favor and time worked against them. This person could have been very wounded, which resulted in lack of growth. And you could have had to set a boundary here. This person... This person's lesson could have been that they needed to see what they had before it was too late and they didn't. And they could be at a place right now where they're choosing a crossroads. What do they want? And they could want to heal something that they want to invest in. But they could get a message of good news that's going to make them regret. This person's gonna get a message of good news from you, but it's not going to involve them. You're gonna move on, it's what's happening. And it could be because this person wounded some, this person wounded you. You and this person matched in an energy of being practical, being logical, protecting your cup. But when it comes to this person stepping up and matching you and saying, okay, let's be partners, let's go full throttle in, let's grow, let's expand, Let's do this. That's where there was lack. And that was their lesson. Is that if they wanted something so bad, they had to have the strength to take it. And they didn't. And they could have lied to their self. But now you're fisting to get everything you want. It's your time. It is your time to shine. It is your time to get what you've been wanting, what you've been waiting on. Leap of faith. It is safe for you to make the move that you're considering. Yeah, this connection in the past could have been the strict, it could have been a sexual only connection. And you could have had to set some sort of boundary so you could get to this. But you could have also had to go through a season of forgiveness, forgiving that person and forgiving yourself. And now that you're through that, you could be going to someone who is going to be classified as your true love. This person is going to love you mentally, physically, emotionally, this is going to be someone that you're going to thank the universe for sending to you. And it's going to be very stable. Yeah, try something you've never done before. Allow the passion to guide you. Give me more for whoever this new person is. Yeah, wanting to maybe open up and communicate about major change and transformation. Whoever this is, is wanting to take it to the next level. This could also be someone who sees you as scared of the next level. So someone's going to want to offer you a new beginning. But you could be a little nervous to take a new beginning because you once took a new beginning from someone where it was a passionate only connection. It wasn't long lasting. It couldn't stand the test of other people, places, things, opinions, views. It's like when beef starts happening, that's when things really started crumbling. I want more for whoever this new person is. But you're going to feel burdened about some sort of new beginning because I feel like you're scared of slipping and falling. Okay, I got it, cards. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Exactly. Releasing them. So whoever's coming towards you, it's a past life connection. Divine timing is at work here. Someone that was been, this person's been worth the wait. But very soon you're needing to decide. Very soon you're needing to decide what you want. And maybe taking some time alone is helping you figure that out. You're tired of being heartbroken. You're tired of being disappointed. And you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting something to change. You're not doing that. You're trying something different. You're trying something new. And it could be burdensome. You could be a little weighed down and uneasy. Why? Because it's something new. But someone new is coming towards you where it, it, you guys are going to evolve to either marriage or building something together. So you're gonna share money with this person. You guys are gonna share a home. You're gonna share vehicles. 
there is building a family, a legacy, some sense of security with one another. For some of you, you really are going to get married. For some of you, you don't care about that. But whatever it is that you're going to build with this new person, when it first comes to you, you're going to be a little uneasy because I think you're scared of it failing like the things in the past has. But once you allow yourself to clear this past person out, they then take on that energy. They then have to gain wisdom from that circumstance. Why were they scared of growth? Why did they run? Why did they hide? Why did they lie? Why did they ignore what this dynamic was? And why did they have to push you so far to let this go because you didn't see growth? There could be a conversation coming up where you're going to discuss your feelings with whoever that past person is. There could be a sense of codependency in that dynamic. This person could have an addiction to you, vice versa. This person could just have an addiction, period. Whoever this is, though, there is a sense of codependency. Again, this could be someone who has, whoever this past person is, the ex that you're letting go of, they could have, that person could feel responsible for other people's feelings and emotions, family, friends, whatever, kids. And it could be someone that you tried to make something work with, but they were so codependent on making others happy feeding that that fire so to speak that they neglected you and you see that as lack of growth i can't grow with this i can't expand with this and i don't know i don't know why you're running i don't know why you're hiding i don't know why you're sneaking away i don't know why you're lying to me instead of just telling me the truth but i'm gonna have to cut you out and you you're cutting that person out or you have recently and again, other people are seeing you as someone who is unsure about the future and what you want, but you know that your intuition is guiding you and you know that it's time for you to try things differently. And because you're willing to try things differently, it's bringing someone towards, towards you that you've been waiting on. The wait is over. You don't have to wait anymore, but you are going to be a little anxious. Why? Because you've been set up for failure before. You got into a connection or a dynamic with someone and it wasn't worth it. And you're scared that it could happen again. But what you're not seeing is that this is something that's fair. And that's the reason your intuition is guiding you to this person, this place, this thing. That's the reason. It's because this is fair for you. This is just. You are going to get treated the way you deserve to be treated. But right now, you might not see that because of the moon. There is always the possibility of things changing, things shifting, things not being what they seem to be. So I do see interest. I see communication. I see a sweet energy being shared. And I see it resulting in major change and transformation. But I see you being unsure if you should take it. Mainly because you're unsure where it's going to go, what's going to happen. And a lot of you are anxious of giving up the way your life has been, especially if you're going to give it up for something crazy. It's like, I don't want to do that. But you don't know exactly what the future holds. So a part of you is a little bit of, oh, I don't know if I should do this. I don't want to miss it. But I also don't want to get myself in a place where I'm like, crap, I shouldn't have done that. So you are going to be a little on edge, mainly because you know that there's a new beginning here. And building with this person can either make you or it's going to break you. And I think you're just scared. But I see it starting off very small and slow. And then it's going to evolve very quickly into everything. But right now, people are seeing you as someone who is maybe sad over the fact that you're having to let things go that you didn't want to let go. But you're also seeing the light. It's like someone just gave you eight bottles of dirty water. And you see the restaurant down the road turn their light on. You know they have clean water. You can cry over the dirty water that someone just gave you. And you can drink it and you can regret drinking it. Or you can throw those water bottles down. Of course, let's not do all that. Let's not litter. But you can throw those water bottles down and you can walk towards the light and say, no, I want fresh water. 
what do you want to do? Right now, people are seeing you as someone holding those dirty waters and going, oh, I don't like having dirty water. But pretty soon, people are going to see you as someone who's just going to drop it and say, then I don't need to have dirty water. I'm going over there. And there is a very grounded, stable energy coming from that, which then results in a new beginning being brought to you very quickly. I'm hearing the song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. And because you're releasing whoever this ex is, they just told me your intuition is going to be five times more. It's like you're going to, your intuition is going to be stronger. It's going to come through clearer. Because there's something here about this person. What am I trying to get? It's like this person watered down your mind, your thought, your intuition. Yeah, Eight of Cups, that's what I'm saying. Walking away. It could come as a shock. It could come very unexpectedly. You could do this unexpectedly. This person could even come towards you and want a conversation with you unexpectedly. But I do see it resulting in you releasing them and allowing yourself to go to something new. Something that you, you've manifested. Something where you can trust your heart and your love to be. And it's bringing major change and transformation. Whoever this past person is, it's over. There is no ands if buts about it. And there could be a lot of conflict, disagreements. That person could not want it to be over. They could be unsure if you're really gone, but you are. This is someone who thinks you're gonna come back. This is someone who thinks that one day you might see what you're missing. But what they're not recognizing is that they're the true one missing out. And you're going to something new, something amazing. You're going to new beginnings. You're going to a new structured reality where love is going to be the, the forefront and the base. And there's going to be something very peaceful about this new dynamic as well. Something that I don't feel like you could get from that past person. And you deserve that. And I do feel like whoever this new person is, you're going to be able to trust them. And I don't feel like that past person, you trusted them very well. Can I get some energy on this past person? Past person's energy. I know that you don't feel for me as I feel for you. So yeah, that past person could still be holding on to you. My focus is on my life. I do not want to be bothered. See, that's what I'm saying. Because I can't give you what you want, you need, or you deserve. And maybe there's something here where you affect this person more than they ever thought was possible. And you affect them in a way that they don't like. And maybe whoever this ex is would be willing to settle for a life that isn't fulfilling, but you're not. I can't support your actions. This is too much for me to deal with. I'm distracting myself of thinking of you because their emotions are too difficult to process right now. So right now, they feel like they can't be bothered. They feel like you don't feel the same as they do. They feel like that they can't support what you're doing because it's too much. So they are distracting themselves, and you're releasing yourself from them. And there's a sense of recharging that's going to come in for you because of it. So expect major changes. Because you're allowing yourself to let someone go, you are bringing in major changes. You're bringing in a whole new world, a whole new life. A life that you might be scared of going towards. It's kind of like once you open that door, you can't go back. Are you ready to open that door? And I feel like you are. I feel like you have been waiting for this person to come into your life, to make their self known. And although you're scared, you're only scared because you don't want to go back through the same crap that you've been through. But there's something intense about this new person. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of attraction. You guys have a lot of fun together. It, 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 it's going to be amazing. 
And this person does not hesitate to offer you something. I'm hearing that song, baby, wait. I don't know the song. Tulips. Tulips could be significant. You could also give off a poker face to whoever this person is because you might not want them to see that you're unsure. And you're going to meet whoever this new person is where when the only person you're concerned about is yourself. I'm also seeing a lot of seashells in the beach and things like that, walking around barefooted, really getting connected to yourself in a way that maybe you haven't, pouring into yourself in a way that maybe you haven't which is then allowing this person to come towards you. Why did this past person have to lose you? Sorry, you can see the girls in there. Because they were at a crossroads. Ugh. And it, there needed to be movement forward, and there was conflicted energy, jealousy, opposing opinions, not agreeing on what that future looks like. And maybe this person's been reflecting. Maybe there's something here where this person can't support you because they feel like you're too much in the fact of you will disagree with people. You will argue with people because you're not gonna sacrifice what you want and what's gonna make you happy. And maybe it's too much for this person. Maybe this person wants to make their family and their friends happy. They want that celebration and they're not willing to give that up to be with you. And maybe they're doing a lot of self-reflection on the fact that they're feeling left out in the cold when it comes to something that they're feeling very drawn towards. You know, they could feel like they want some sort of new beginning, some sort of passionate, new beginning with you but again they could be reflecting on the fact that they don't feel that they can be bothered by you when it comes to something more and that's where you guys don't feel the same that's where you guys have different opinions different views y'all don't want the same thing and i think a conversation could come from it but i don't think that this person is going to be so honest with you and tell you, you know, being with you would be too much for me. I would have to do A, B, C, or D, and I'm not that person. They won't have the ability to tell you that. But they are going to do a lot of self-reflection on the fact that you have the ability to shed an old version of you and go to a new version, and maybe they only have the tendency to continue in a circle, to continue. It's like this person is always doing a cycle over again. And even if they evolve, they're not much different than who they've been. And it could be because this person has the tendency to distract their self of thinking about things that bother them, that affect them, that they wanna shift, that they wanna change. This is someone who's just content with life, even if they're not happy, and you're not. And if that means them choosing their family, their friends, their celebration, their happiness, whatever, so be it. But what they're not seeing is that they're gonna end up being really sad and disappointed in the, in the near future. Sad and disappointed because I don't think that this person's truly under, yeah. They're in denial. They're in denial that you've been giving so much, that this has been so unbalanced. And that they have some sense of unhealed wounds that keep them from being able to come forward fully. And, you know, maybe the excuse is, is I can't support you or what you're doing or how you come across. I don't think that's what it is. I just don't think that this person is as strong as you are. There could be some sense of interference. Yeah. Family, friends. This person could have the tendency to want to make others happy and not their self. And you could just be the kind of person who wants to make yourself happy and not others. And that could be the reason that they don't support you. It's because they don't see you guys are just two different people is what it is. And there's a lot of self-reflection on that. Is I think this person was at a crossroads 
and they chose. They chose not to support you. They chose not to choose you. They chose to say that this was too much in some sense, form or fashion. And in, in the future, it's gonna come late at night. They're gonna get some sense of knowledge about how they were disappointed to not take a new beginning, a new beginning that was, that was built on truth, built on clarity. It's like this person doesn't have the strength and the ability to tell people who they want to be and to be authentically their self. This person has secrets. This person has things about them and things that they want to do and things that they love and things that they have a weakness for that a lot of people don't know. They keep that to their self. Why? Because that's who they are. And they're scared of others not supporting their, supporting them the way that they didn't support you, which is going to continuously hold them back. They don't deserve you, which is why you're letting them go. And you're going to go to something amazing. You're going to go to someone that you're going to feel like, you're going to feel like a deceased loved one brought them to you. Grand, grandmother, grandfather, mom, dad, sister, brother. There is someone that has passed in your life that meant a lot to you. This could be a friend. And you feel like Whenever you meet this new person, you're going to feel like they brought you this new person. They handpicked that person for you. That's how you're going to feel. And you're going to feel really glad that you didn't take whoever that ex is. is. You didn't take them to the future with you. Because all they had to offer was this passion, was this fun, was this spark, was this new beginning of like, let's create. But what are we creating? Well, I don't know. Like that was their energy. You want more. You want stability. You want emotional experiences. You want to build. You want to feel confident in what you have. And yeah, you could have been too much for that past person. But maybe it's because they weren't enough. Just going to say it. Okay. All right. We're going to leave that here. So you can expect something new to come to you. You can expect what you've been waiting on to finally be yours. Whoever you're going to be with, there's going to be a lot of money in that connection. You guys are going to be rolling in the dough. Like, I'm seeing money out the yin-yang. You guys are going to be rolling in the dough. And it's because the money isn't what makes you guys fulfilled. It's like you guys are going to fulfill one another, which makes everything come so easy. Children are going to be happy. Animals are going to be happy. Your jobs are going to be happy. Why? Because you guys are happy. You're happy with one another. You're happy in the connection. You're happy in the dynamic. You're able to fill your own cup and fill one another's. It's going to be amazing. And whoever this ex is, this person could have not wanted to come towards you for the last and final request of whether or not you would do this with them. Because in their mind, they want to think that you will always take their offer. So it's like there might not be closure with whoever this ex is because they want in their mind to think that they could have you back. When in reality, they can't. But if they knew for sure that you wouldn't take their offer, that would be something that would haunt them. So they want to stay in a self-imposed prison. They want to continue to lie to their self and say, well, you know, me and Pisces shared something magnificent. We shared something special. I know Pisces would answer my phone call. I know Pisces would say, you tell me when, you tell me where I'm coming to you, boo. When in reality, I think you would talk to them. You might even flirt with them, but it would stay very small. It would stay very simple. And it would stay very childlike in the fact of, hey, how are you? That's good. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you might disappear and not respond after that. But this person, whoever that ex is, they thrive off of not knowing everything. Because if they don't know everything, they can lie to themselves. Okay, we're going to leave this here. Have a blessed day, guys.